recording and going live. Confirm and go live. Right. Um, we can now see Ben. Uh, we don't want to see Ben. We want to see James York. Uh, so let me do this. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the second half. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's probably the last third of the conference, really. We have just the Iron Teacher um, activity left. Um, we've got 45 minutes hashed out for this, but I'm going to be going through the rooms and maybe we can finish in 30 minutes. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how quickly we can get these lesson plans created. So the idea next is that um, each of the groups, we have three groups now. Um, you will be working together on this uh, shared document. Let me put the shared document on the stream here. The document is this. We have team number one. Ben T. Christine BC. Casey N. In my best, uh, I don't know what voice that is, but yeah. Uh, team number two is, oh dear, Stamatia? Oh, she's not back. I'm just going to call her Tia then. Tia S, Adam S, Jonathan D H. Uh, team number four. Yeah, we skipped three because we're so cool. Team number four is going to be Fabio S, Mark J, Carolyn B. You are going yeah, to get those vowels. Fabio S, Mark J, and Carolina B. Wow, Adam, you got it. You can you can host the next LLP conference. There you go. We we found our next chair. That's that's all you need to be able to do. <laughs> um, so, um, so do we? I'm sorry. Do we go to three or four? Three is fine. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to get you to go okay. to the uh, LLP rooms here in Discord. And if you look at the document, there is a page for each of the teams. There is page uh, 4.1 is for team one. 4.2 is for team two. 4.3 is for team three. And feel free to create your lesson plan or uh, whatever you want to teach um, some ideas on this document here and between the pages you'll see that it says no cheating please now there's no way for us to re to enforce that so <laughs> you're free to do whatever you like uh, but yeah we ask that you take some of the ingredients from the talks that we just heard and put them together maybe choose a ludic element a language element and a, a pedagogical element um, and yeah, I'll come up with a, a lesson plan. Is there any questions before we begin? Take that as a no. I take that as a no. Uh, there's that a question on general chat by Christine. She's, she's asking, where do we go? Yeah. Um, uh, Christine, you are in group number one. So you will go to LLPX. Room one, yeah. Um, room one. Okay. Yeah, I love the the Japanese no there. Yeah, where it's just like yeah, nobody says anything. Yeah, that that's either yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, let's oh, do well, this. People are already leaving. Okay, wow, yeah. cool. All right, yeah. Oh, all right, cool, great. People are raring, man. This is amazing. Okay, Tio, I'll see you in room. All right, so you're back with me, James York. I am going to switch to Discord. So you can see the the room the groups here. So I guess I'll give them a few moments to get ready and we'll be back in a few minutes. Let's see what they're doing on the document. That'll be good. So we have team one here, team two. Oh, wow. Fast. They're getting right into it. Excuse me. And team three.
Right, I'm going to be a fly on the wall for room one. An ingredient. Sure. So we could do a, a lesson yes, about students awesome. creating a game, maybe? Or. Okay. All right. Hold on. I got to find the document that I can put it in. Uh, yeah. So we have also to choose a team name. <laughs> it's a, it's, it oh. it's Hi, James. to be very important. Just wrote how been. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Oh, we yeah. Have, yeah, we have to choose team name. So we choose a team name, yeah. That, that seems the least important part of the um It's the most the important, plan. clearly. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, it's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> like Neil was also talking about uh, like Mario Maker could also be something, mm -hmm. right? Like he was talking about Mario Maker. Those, that's another ingredient that came up. Um, mm -hmm. Could be an online game, mm -hmm. um, social impact game. That's what we've got to choose from, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Guys, hello. See. Hey, yeah, you're just hanging out, yeah? Yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention is um, a, a team name. Clearly most important. So um, think of a team mm -hmm. name as, before you begin. Uh, hmm. John out of tears. Yeah, that, I like it. <laughs> That's the <Yeah>. hard part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds. No, it sounds oh. awesome. Hey guys, James um, here. Hello. Hi, James. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is um, to the, the most important part of this is to, to create a team name. If you look at uh, number three, uh, where it says num number three on the document here. I just wrote here. If you come up with a team name as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Serial killers. <laughs> Love it. All right, I'm basically a fly on the wall from now. Okay. okay. For now, I'll just leave Serial Killer, but if you have other ideas, let's... Please. That works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, um... <laughs> so, okay. Um, if we're thinking about teachers gathering data and using data, we're talking about, but we're talking about game-based game uh, language teaching, right? Mm -hmm. so, yes. So, language data. Yes. How deep should we go in the way that the, the, the teachers actually gather those data? Do we have to think about that, or we just imagine that they have data? I think we just imagine it, because I think if Fred shared his scripts, then we would have that, right? OK, so we have a big chunk of data, language data, gathered yeah. with games. But hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about what other information we need, you know, and to um, think about how teachers can analyze this data. What other information do we need and how that data was gathered? I got it, I think. Oh, somebody had um, an idea. So I think if we had um, students transcribe their gameplay, like okay. uh, in uh, James's Kotaba Rollers framework, um, yes. what we could do is gather all of that transcription data. Okay. And analyze it using um, free corpus linguistic okay. software. So I use um, a piece of software called um, AntConc quite frequently. Um, I use this to kind of check um, like, um, for um, English for specific purposes um, type courses. I check for vocabulary and I sometimes use it to check learn a language against a uh, corpus of authentic language and see what's missing and things like that. So we did that for a game and conversation type data. Um, we could, conversation? Yeah, so we could check to see like kind of if there are any um, kind of say if there are any words that are overused by the students compared to a general corpus of spoken English or anything that's underused compared to a general corpus of spoken 
English. Okay. Um, what other information do we need about the data before dumping on teaching teachers how to use the data? For now, we're thinking about transcription of conversation, focusing on overused uh, vocabulary or underused vocabulary. Any information? Any other information in the data? Like what kind of games they use in class? Do you think that's relevant? Uh Ooh, yeah, actually, it could be because I mean, there are some games that are just so simple that there's not a huge need to talk between turns and stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess. Also, like, maybe we have like comparable data, like I don't know, pre task data, pre project data. Oh, yeah, yeah. And post data and post game data. So maybe we, we, we can even think about something mm. like comparative analysis. Free data. Do you think it's what do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. Um, data. So, okay. Sorry if I have many questions. It's a bit hard to picture for me. No, the questions help us think. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I think keep going. Um, yes. I also so thought about something. Fabio, you just made me think. Um, so if we're thinking about teacher attitudes, we could also look at um, teacher setup of game tasks and like games as like how to set up the games for students in class. If we analyze like teacher talk mm -hmm. um, and if there's a difference in kind of student output, um, based on different levels or different kinds of words used in teacher talk and things like that. It might be interesting to analyze that way. So we can so put you're saying, Sorry, are you saying having teachers analyze their talk in game playing situations or? It could be, yeah. I guess often if we're using game-based language teaching, um, teachers might join in the game play, they might not. Um, they mm -hmm. might just be a third party there to set things up and um, check to see whether everything's running smoothly. Um, I know when I've used um, tabletop board games before, I've needed to actually join in as a player for at least one round of a game or something like that, just to kind of show how it works and keep things moving. Can I ask what, what um, your teaching goal is? What are you trying to teach? What, what language element are you trying to teach? Is it phonetics? Is it, is it what, what, what particular kind of teaching? Uh, that, that, <laughs> you're focusing on like the data and the collection and the analysis, but what is the goal of this teaching? All right. For me, would be teaching teachers to Ooh. use the data. Okay, meta, it's very meta. meta. I like it. Very meta. Okay. We're talking about teachers because the next step will be like thinking about how to teach teacher how to use the data gathered through game base. I understand. Okay, I gotcha. I'll leave you I'll leave your room and I'll let you get on with that then. <laughs> Ciao for now. I it's engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluate. There we go. Yes. Okay. Google did the uh, work. For is, there, is there a way to mix those up or, or to merge those in a way? Because that, that would give us our different parts, right? And then I think that if, uh, like, like Tia said, with these different world issues, like we could, we could choose a different world issue for each day and then take them through the steps each, each day in mm -hmm. class. Are you thinking about that? Like, are you thinking about trying like E through, like in one class each day? Or is this going to be like E, E, E across each, uh, across the week? Like, are we going to try to do four, four times or one time? I like both. I'm not sure. Yeah, I like both Adam, as well. I, I'm a little bit more leaning towards maybe doing two games in the week just because, like what James talked about in his, yeah. his slow article. I really like that. Uh, and especially if we if we tout James, I'm sure he's going to be so into this, right, James? He's lurking right now. Shooting <laughs> um, no, a torn here. Actually, I'm like just it. a fly let's, on the let's, wall. Let's try two then, and then and then we can give 
we can give them homework, right? Like if they do yeah. come up with maybe like a like oh tr co like come up with a, a a napkin sketch about how you could redesign it, um, and then yeah. come to class the next day with a prototype. Then we can Ooh. sort of we don't have to do that. We, then we don't have to do that work in class, right? I so, love it. Like prototype or <laughs> napkin sketch or or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Like a bit of a, a remix, and then come into class the next day, and then it's the, like the kind of the the the, the play test. Um, and then maybe the, de the, the, the debrief is here, right? Yeah. Like, oh, like what, what, did, what did you learn? And then there's a sort of like this experiential learning cycle between this and that, right? It's like the Some beginning of, of, a, of an extend and that leads into a whole other cycle that begins mm. once again. Where then in this case, then the students are starting to be the, the co- Then if we come up with two world issues, we could oh we could we could pander to Caro by by choosing a a, a pandemic game for one of these, like yeah, um, love it. Let's do it. Me... So you're going right. for the, the? Can I just so ask then... as a, as an observer? You're asking you going for the uh, the, the EEE framework? Looking at that, yeah. What's the five E framework? Putting together. That's it's a more general approach for education. Interesting. It's yeah, it's uh, world issue one. Um, if we could do, it, it's, it, it's basically what Mark ripped off to make his, <laughs> or whoever ripped off to make the triple E framework. But I like the triple E framework better because it, it it does work pretty well and it's simpler. Five uh, E doesn't always apply that well, I find, and people going out of their way to follow the five E doesn't always really doesn't always work as well as you'd hope it would. What's another good, uh, well, another good ish world issue? Like, um, is Tia okay, by the way? I'm I sure like you do. Oh, it's okay. She's on her phone, like, Roger. so I think she's coming in and out. So, gotcha, yeah, she's gotcha. good. I think yeah, she was, I she was there is lots of environmental noise um, ah, when yeah. I don't speak English myself. Gotcha. <laughs> how about, how, it sounds good. Yeah, thank you. Sorry for interrupting. How about how about Black Lives Matter kind of thing? Because we had that oh. whole thing where the yep. they had that giant release of stuff, uh, yep. that, that giant package that you could download for twenty bucks or whatever for like a thousand games. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes. that's interesting. Uh, the uh, the bundle for uh, racial justice and equality. Yeah. Uh, it's a, yeah. I like I like the topic for I racial think of a equality. Specific game that they could remix though, right? Like, yeah. Well, is the, there a game about racism yeah. or well, so many like they're all about racism uh yeah like, well yeah everything's about racism. Like, yeah sure <laughs> well sorry um, no you're right no not everyone was some of them were just created by by african-americans but there were a lot of them that specifically addressed like violence within communities mm -hmm. so i can't think of any off the top of my head but we, we could just say that we're choosing one of them um i could search for one while we're doing this i wonder if you're talking about the same pack were you talking about the itchio one yeah, we are. We are. We are. We are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're talking yeah, about it, it, yep. All right. Have fun. Yes. I'm gonna head. Up. I like. I like yeah. the first one. That this is very sort of like. Um. Team all right. One. So. Hello. Well, hello, James. How are you? <laughs> I'm just a fly on the wall. You're just a fly on the wall. Yeah. Flies on the wall don't speak, James. <laughs> oh no! He muted himself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways uh okay so moving on we've got let's see here so we've got a little bit of language so using kind of learning phrases simple phrases a pedagogy they can um base their board games off of some kind of top like already uh, established topic like a movie or video game from christine's ready player one example mm -hmm. um Let's see here. So moving on, what else can we do? What else can we, how can we push this forward a bit? Uh, perhaps now is when, like, what, like, what would be the end goal? Like, ah, uh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, if we think, like, big picture and then, like, maybe, like, you know, like, have a big end goal and then smaller goals that work towards that end goal. Like, if, goals. or just one big goal, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So goals. What, so what would be the goal of this activity? If we're wanting them to make a, a, their own original board game, the board game could be anything. Um, I guess the creation of a playable version of a board game would be the end product, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. Christine, when you 
after the cards and questions about the movie, did you have any end goals in mind? Like, yes, uh, collaboration, for example, the, mm -hmm. they had to to do a project um, for three weeks together, and it mm -hmm. was not easy to 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 succeed. Mm -hmm. So we've and got. They had, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Go ahead, Christine. Sorry. No, go ahead. Um, so we've got in, an intangible goal of just uh, uh, from the lesson of having students collaborate with each other, probably fostering communication between them. And then mm -hmm. we have a tangible goal or a real material goal, which would be a, a, a board game. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, keep going, Christine. No, no, that's all. Oh, well. Okay. Casey, any ideas? Uh... It's a very good example also to play with interpersonal skills. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so collaboration yeah, between students, interpersonal skills. All right, good. Got it, got it. What's, uh, what's the age of the students that, you're, that uh, you have okay, in mind? Background. All ages. <laughs> Every age possible. Every age possible. Uh, young students, first year. First year, like university, first year yeah. high school, yeah. oh, university. Mm -hmm. 18. So young adults. 18, 19, <clears throat> 20, if they had a bad experience in high school. <laughs> <laughs> or someone starting college after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or also if they're from, uh, they're Austrian, because they take the, the, the gap year, the mandatory gap year. It's really not important. <laughs> it's definitely important. Okay, oh, so. It's, it's um... up there with the name of the team. Uh, that's how important that is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Serious face. No. Uh, let's see here. So through the creation of a board <laughs> game, I'm just checking. Through the creation of a board game, the language skills that they'll um, exercise or practice or get, get would be these collaboration ideas, or what? What's the what's the course? What's the I so, think, I, sorry, go ahead, Casey. I, like the collaboration was not directly a language skill. It was just a social skill to mm -hmm. learn, right? And so the language would be to look at um, language that they have uh, seen in other rules manuals. And this would be kind of like simple, straightforward rules without, you know, like a one pager type of thing. So basically like, um explaining a process um how to do something uh victory conditions that type of thing does that answer your question james yeah yeah i'm just wondering why why would they need those goals uh wait as in like well to uh well if we want them to write a rule book and to be able to ex clearly express an idea mm -hmm. that other people can understand which is something that they may need to do once they get out in the real world. Gotcha. Or okay, that, like... that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's awesome. Maybe if... we could add also project management in the goals. Uh huh. Okay, project management. It looks like only Ooh, Ben's yeah. typing on the document. You have it. Do you have I, it open? My middle name is Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll leave you to it. You're doing good, guys. Uh, by the way, you have. Ben... Um, let's see. We're about halfway through the planning time. Okay. Okay. And I've got an idea. Is it is it what Mark said no. that? Oh, the document keeps jumping because there's so many people in it. Um, is it what Mark said that the teachers then feed the program with data from their students' gameplay and try to identify relevant elements, family feud style or ranking style? match wits with the computer kind of thing? Yes, I mean... Yeah, so uh, try to guess Family Feud style, which um, kind of uh, student uh, words or phrases um, will come uh, top in a ranked list. 
Are you guys still going for the teacher training class? Yes, we yeah. are. Oh, okay. So you're going to train teachers to do what again? Just remind me. To use, oh, sorry, go, Carolyn. Uh, to use the data their students create in playing games to analyze it. Mm -hmm. So teaching them how to analyze language learner data in games. Gotcha. Um, so, for example, you could see if students are um, failing at using a particular grammar point and so the analysis would then promote them to teach that in a post task phase is that what you're saying is that kind of thing for example yeah right, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. and uh, you can show the disparity between teacher expectations of uh, language and uh, actual uh, learner language in use looks like that's great mark yeah i like that I'm thinking about it, like analyzing this kind of data can also give hints on how to improve and how to change the game-based experience they had with their students. Yeah, I think that's um, Fred's whole interest, actually. How? Yeah, yeah. Yes. you mentioned Fred a lot. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you have about 20 minutes left. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Um... Yeah. Da, 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 da. Bring, then, then they might bring in some sort of like emotional aspect to a game, right? If, yeah. if they bring up here, right, right, Adam, like if they bring up the emotional yeah. elements here, then they're going to try to convey those emotional elements here. Um, exactly. So I think that's a really nice, is it, is the debriefing very similar to the discussion or... Do we even, maybe we can, this is also, we do need those two stages. Yeah, it's tricky. It's yeah, I, I say this is the extension and then playing, maybe just, should we, do we need this here? Oh, discuss the game. Yeah, we do. Yeah, no, definitely. Sorry. Oh, we I, do. I don't know we what do. I'm saying. Well, I think that there can be two discussions. That's what I'm saying, right? Like, just yeah. how was it? What do you think? What was your reaction? I noticed that you were laughing at this part or I noticed that you were uh, frustrated with this. Why? You know, like the teacher mediation, right? And then yeah. we push them more. Yeah. Uh, Hi guys, I'm here. By the way, just wanted to let. Yeah. yeah we, we heard. We heard the James York trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This looks. Um, this looks really good for the first day. We're there. I like this. Tia, Tia, you've been quiet. You want to pop in? I know you're listening, and 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 with the technical <laughs> stuff, but. What do you think? Um, yeah, I think debriefing is different than extending. So mm. um, we can have even like a questionnaire or uh, something for students to fill in, um, like extending. Mm. Debriefing would be about how they feel about the game, what they think about it, or uh, I, what it means to them. And while extending would be thinking about uh, the game itself, the game mechanics, the strategy, uh, the concept, and how it relates to them. So um, I'm not sure mm. if it sounds different. <laughs> Maybe Why we can not? take it extend and we could we can instead say something. Cause I, I agree with Tia. Maybe reflect could be part of it and then reflect plus debrief in a way. And then extend would be the next part, the homework, where are we going on to see like how are they going to apply this? How are they going to create from this? How are they going to remix? Because this part's not necessarily a remix, right? So I'm gonna change this extend. I'm gonna reword this. Okay, I agree with that. Can I just ask some questions? Sure. So We're feeling generous. <laughs> so you're going to introduce a game in the first class here, and students are going to design yeah. design some ideas or have some ideas at the end of the first class. Mm -hmm. 
and then they're going to try and make it and play test it in the second class. Exactly. They're making it for homework. Gotcha. They're making it for homework. So I'm I'm down here trying to figure out like the assignment to give to students to take these elements that we discussed and we brainstorm specific aspects and then what's the assignment that we give to students to take home and like you know come come you know spend an hour or two to create a playable prototype to bring into class and that's what we're going to spend time in the second class on gotcha and then that would be repeated in yeah. the second loop then right with a different exactly. game and a different topic i see okay James just being here just reminded me that we forgot something important, like actual explaining the game or like like where is the instructions phase, not just dropping them into uh, this game. We can we we can make it a we could say that like before this we've given them like a YouTube video to watch or the rule book to look at or I mean I know okay. that we could add, we should absolutely take time to to do so, that, but we this maybe we could say like before this we we went over the the rules to the game or something. I don't know. Go for it. Like, I think it's great. Yeah. yeah, if there's time, if there's time. We yeah, there you go. Okay. This has been covered, or 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 you know, this this is coming on the end of this textbook unit or uh... unit, and we have instructed. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, using we all used YouTube videos and 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 it, we've assigned yeah we assigned the rule books and blah blah blah. May I ask one question? One more. Yeah. Uh, what is the age yeah. range of the students that you're thinking of here? I, I was asking this to other groups as well. So, hmm. okay, we'll, 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 do a, a student, we'll do a student profile. We'll do a student pro student profile here. Yeah, gotcha. Or class. We'll do a, right. We'll do the class, right? Okay. Um, and just let you know, you got 15 yeah. minutes left. So, totally manageable. Okay, I'm heading off to the other room. See ya. Bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call and mm -hmm. adjust with it, mm -hmm. and. Uh, be able to say like okay it's here for this reason or mm -hmm. like okay enough players have said that this is bad mm -hmm. maybe we take it out and it doesn't work yes mm -hmm. yeah, testing, testing the game with younger people is a reward in itself especially if you play test with maybe um different people every time you know you're not just yeah. play testing with one group like mm -hmm. over and over and over again you the mm -hmm. I mean, like, if, if there's a lot of different groups creating their own games, you can have them kind of swapping games and playing, you know, playing game, playing each other's games all throughout the classroom. I'm here, by the way. Um, hi. <laughs> I know you don't want me here, but yeah, I'm here. Hi, honey. <laughs> this is looking good. Uh, groups in the classroom. Okay. How much time do we have left? Oh, yes, you have 15 time? minutes left. Ooh, it, might, 15. it might be nice to... You said to... 15 minutes 10 minutes ago. I thought... No, I didn't. I said you're about halfway. What? Oh, well, I was thinking 30 minutes. No, it's 45. It's 45. It might be nice. Of, um, oh, okay. what, what some of the other groups are doing is like literally putting down the start of the lesson, what happened, what, what happens in the lesson, like... Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just been going through like a more, cons you know theoretical conceptualization of it yep so i think it. from here on out until the end i think uh christine and uh, uh casey i think what we can do is actually make an actual play play by play you know Lesson like what plan, to do yeah. first yes. yeah. Power by power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay uh so um, let's do this i'll make another section down here uh it'll be um just just okay. as another uh, a bit of info on another group um, they have multiple lessons, like class one, class two, class three, class four. So don't feel like you need to stick everything into one class. This is so much work, James. <laughs> this is so much work. Oh. You can well, do it. I, mean, I trust you. Oh. This is something that you could stretch out over... 15 weeks, well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 15, that'd be like a semester, right? Well, go for it. Let's, let's get these 15 weeks out. I'll shut up. All right, let's you. really. Oh yeah, let's really okay. work, Ben. Ah oh, man. Okay. Give me just a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So. Can we begin? Yeah. <laughs> Schedule. So um. Ooh. Um. The new section is uh, the enroll. Mm -hmm. The way it happens. I okay. don't know the 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 English word. The déroulé is. Hour by hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So okay, so hour hour by hour. Um, do we want one schedule for one day, or do we want as as James was saying, kind of like a a schedule for for like fifteen weeks? 
15 weeks. Well, 15 weeks is a lot, maybe like two yes. or three or four. Instead of four, 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 eight weeks, it means a period because uh, we've got periods oh. of seven weeks. Uh-huh. Okay, um, so I think I think I know what we can do. We can do a, a very a thin plan, maybe like a very loose plan for one class, and then we can use that as a way to say, like in this class, you know, you'll do something that's similar for every class, but then yes. looking at by weeks, you'll do something, you know, slightly different mm -hmm. uh, as they start to more create their games. Okay, all right. Hello. Okay, so... Uh... So where are we at? Lose. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, weekly schedule. Um, okay, so um, Casey, I, I think what, we, I, what we're going to do is we're going to take um, kind of a really basic layout for one class. Cool. And then we're going to take that, ba we're going to kind of elaborate on the basic layout for one class, but then we're going to, to kind of transpose that onto several weeks. Yep. And so as their, their board games kind of come to fruition, um, it'll, it, you know, like slight goals of the class will change as, mm -hmm. as we go further and further. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you, um, I think first thing we need to do is think about the loose kind of class plan for one class. So something that can be kind of really used in many different, you know, days, like they come in, they, they talk about their games for a little bit and then they start you know, design, I don't know, something like that, but. Okay. Um... Well, okay. So, question one: Are we gonna? Do you think the planning allowed to have to take of the issue should be moved after the reflection? Hang on one second. Oh yes, sir. Say that again. I was thinking it's planning on how to take on the issue. Uh, should be moved after the reflection. Ah, okay. What do you think? Mm. Yeah. Maybe the reflection will also, it's what... Yeah, I think the reflection leads to the <laughs> pulse task, act, the, 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 the yeah. generating the activity. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. There for now and tell me what you yep. think about it. Planning based on the reflection. No, maybe not based on the reflection. I think I said that correctly. Planning on how to take each of the rules from the data analysis. analysis. Thanks. <laughs> I just noticed that. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, I think these two get shifted too. May I ask a question? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. The learners here that you have in your draft lesson plan, these are the teachers, right? These are the people that are. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yes. That's why it's <laughs> students. Yes. The teachers are the students here. Yes. Yep. Yep. I mean, that's, again, that's the dream, like teaching application games. Media leaders. So, yeah, um... Are you imagining this imagining this as a single lesson or multiple lessons? Multiple. We're imagining this as multiple. It's yeah. a lesson cycle. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, most of the other, both of the other groups are doing that as well. So, are you spying? Yeah, of course I am. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going around. 
I'm going around poking groups saying, hey, what's this? What's that? It's quite fun, actually. I feel, I feel great. Yeah. I, feel very, I feel very liberated. <laughs> it's fun having everyone else do the brain work. Huh? <laughs> I, I think my job is important. I'm hoping you notice. It's important, yeah. but it's not as hard. <laughs> How much time do we still have? Good question. You have another five minutes. Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm really not in a bad place. I just think it's anything missing. I don't have a tweet. Yeah. I have a tweetable idea. You can tell okay. me what you think. Yeah, on. yeah, sure. Um, ah, we have to put it there. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. There we go. That's amazing, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Um, okay. Over the moon with that, yeah. You need to learn to look at game language as long as you know that. Uh, I see. Um, maybe you can. Uh, maybe here we can have like instrument because we're thinking about having like pre game yeah. like, that and data, we can talk about assess the improvement, the range of improvement that we will that better than I can. Um, Okay, I'm going to check on the other groups. You have five minutes left. Yeah. Thank you. Could be the pure part. Okay. So maybe this part. This could be another teacher-led. Um, teacher-led uh, discussion, possibly to address the language, the target language learned and possible extensions. The next part, we could have the pure discussion. This is like, okay. Just let you know you got five that, minutes that, left. That makes more sense to me. We're good. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> I'm working on the final debrief. Okay. So that's that's part of what I wrote here in day two as well. Do you want to combine them both after you're done? Or or is this um, did you already do that? Where where are you? You're in the peer discussion? I'm in the peer discussion here. Like this is okay. uh is this are you working this into what you're writing? Well, that's great. No, no, no. They're different. So, what, very quickly before you know, we times up. So this is very like this is about uh, connecting it to the you know day three and and the next loop. So this is really about right. connecting it to students' lives outside of society. So Nicholson wrote this paper where um, right. it's about thinking about other situations and what types of people like thinking about audience more or even like mm -hmm. having each learner write a fan letter to herself a year in the future. And so right. just a couple of simple questions to say, like, think about your life outside of school. Where will what we did be useful? Who else would find it useful? What will you do? Like, hmm. let them come up with the transfer. Like, maybe right. it's like, oh, I, I, I want to show my uncle this, this game because uh, I think his life has been really impacted by what's going on. Or hmm. I want to send this to Fox News or I want to, you know, I want right. to uh, share this on Twitter or Instagram or something. Right. And so there are different hmm. stages of debriefing. So. I like um, it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut this and put it as a comment on the document, just so that we've got a bit of a shorter um, thing cool. here. Easier for teachers yeah, to like, follow. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'll just throw it there. This, these are, these are the quotes from from Nicholson. So, 
do that. Jonathan, may I? So, uh, you could take this whole thing and put it in a table below instead, so it, it's not like super crushed in at the side. Well, we're, yeah. Well, that that would be great if we had more time. You want to give us fifteen more minutes for suggesting that, James? <laughs> to, <laughs> to copy paste the table takes fifteen minutes. Come on, dude. All right. Yeah, 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 I'm asking for 15 minutes. I'm really technologically illiterate, James. No, you I got, really do need 15. You got two minutes. I'll see you soon. Play testing for like six weeks straight. I don't know though. I mean, I've never. I know play mm. testing's a major. It's a lot of work. So, mm -hmm. I mean, play testing is that you play it, you find the flaws in it, you change the game, you play test it again, you yeah, find the flaws, you yeah. play test it again, it just goes around and around and around and around and around. I guess if this was like okay, if you actually implemented this seeing what happened during like these let's say six weeks of play testing and mm -hmm. how grueling that it was is mm -hmm. that might be something you would like be like okay you'd have to maybe tweak it and adjust it in some fashion later on mm -hmm. but, okay mm -hmm. cool all right i think uh oh what well, the loose schedule notwithstanding i think we have our lesson plan mm -hmm. And just one question: When yeah, you yeah. say, um, "How many students is there in, uh, ah. in this class like that?" Because I don't know. for me, it's 12, 12 students. Yeah, when you, you say, have twelve students. It's it's just a question. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Like it's a mm. Teams of four pupils. Teams of yeah, maybe like um. Three to five, uh, oh. four, four, four to five groups in the class. Mm -hmm. I mean, th that's mm -hmm. like a twenty-student class, which is a little bit small for university, but um, or maybe smaller, like bigger, more groups, smaller number of students because.